Okay, this is a video for uh, chapter 13.2. We're going to break this up into two videos. The first part of it, we're going to talk about Avogadro's principle and how that works. And the second part, we're going to talk about the ideal gas laws and how those that works, how we combine everything we've learned up till now. Avogadro's principle states that equal volumes of gases at the same temperature and pressure contain equal numbers of particles. So that means that it doesn't matter what um, what kind of gas we have, carbon dioxide, helium, or oxygen, if they are at the same temperature and pressure, they're going to contain equal number of particles. Remember, Avogadro is our guy with the mole stuff. And this is the same kind of thing. A mole is an amount of things we have. So we're going to do apply that same principle to gases now. Okay, so the second part of it, we're going to talk about a molar volume of a gas. Right, the molar volume of a gas more is the ga volume of one mole and that occupies at zero degrees C and one atmosphere pressure. Okay, so that's what one mole and those temperatures and pressures, the zero C and the one atmosphere is called standard temperature and pressure. Okay, so that's why we use atmospheres mostly in chemistry. Chemistry uses atmospheres most of the time for pressure numbers because it's convenient numbers to use and almost all the um, the traditional stuff, the, the traditional uh, units are used at atmospheres. So the volume, the molar volume means that one mole occupy uh, one mole of gas has 22.4 liters at standard temperature and pressure. So the 22.4 liters, that's like the Avogadro's number we had. That's like the 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd. That's how many atoms were in one mole. Now we know this at a gas, we're talking about volumes now. One mole of a gas at this particular temperature and pressure, zero C, and one atmosphere is 22.4. And it doesn't matter which kind of gas it is. It's carbon dioxide, oxygen, helium, whatever we're talking about, all the gases. If there's one mole of the gas at standard temperature and pressure, they're going to occupy 22.4 liters. OK, so we're going to have problems like this. If you know the volume of a gas, you can use the conversion factor that one mole of a gas occupies 22.4 liters uh, to find the moles. And then once you find the moles, you can also find the mass, right? Our moles to grams conversions of a given volume of gas at STP. So then we're given a vo volume of gas, and we want to try to figure out how many moles we have. Okay, so this is that STP. We have five liters of gas at STP. And realize it doesn't matter. I don't say whether what kind of gas it is, whether it's oxygen, helium, um, nitrogen, whatever we're talking about, it doesn't matter. They all act the same. And one mole of whatever gas we have occupies 22.4 liters. So we only have five liters here. So we know we're going to have less than, way less than one mole. So to get, we, the units cancel here. If the liters cancel out, so you do five divided by 22.4, and you get 0.223 moles of the gas. So five liters doesn't matter what kind, we'll give you 0.223 moles of whatever gas we're talking about. Another example, we can go the other way, right? If we know the moles, like we say we balanced the chemical equation, did the stoichiometry on it, we came out with some mole number. We want to know, well, how much volume does that occupy? Well, we can do that here with Avogadro's principle also. If we know the moles, then we're going to flip that conversion over, right? We're going to have the 20, each mole you know, there's 22.4 liters in every mole. The moles cancel out here, so we're going to multiply the 22.4 times the 0.768, and you get 17.2 liters of gas. That makes sense because we don't have a whole mole of gas, so the answer has to be less than 22. Okay? So, a couple of um, practice problems here for you. Uh, pause the video and see if you can do these on your own. This is one to give you the mole of a gas. See if you can figure out what the volume is. This one, the other one gives you the um, liters, gives you the volume. See if you can figure out how many moles there are. Okay, so pause the video for a second. Try these on your calculator. See what you get. Okay, 
This is the first one here. We have moles, so we're going to multiply our conversion factor is going to be 22.4 divided by one mole. So we multiply this number here, the 0 0.0685 times 22.4, and we get one over one and a half liters of the gas. Okay, so we have 2.2 liters. Obviously, we're going to have less than one mole, right? Because there's 22.4 moles in there. And so you do 22.21 divided by 22.4, and you get about a tenth of a liter, tenth of a mole of the gas, so 0 0.0987. Okay, so hopefully you got those numbers, and you're good with this. So we, if we, I give you the moles at standard temperature and pressure, you can figure out the volume. If I give you the volume at STP, you can figure out the moles. Okay, so you got to do those two conversions. All right, so you got to know how to do that. Okay, so we'll leave the ideal gas law until the next video and fill out the form below, and I'll see you guys in class tomorrow.